Wow. Look at us going, huh? Look at what we're doing. Look at what look at what's happened to us, okay? You know what I mean? We've only been improved and enhanced, okay? Let me tell you some for starters, you're great. And thank you for joining us. This is Drew Stories, episode 7. I'm your host, Drew Brooks, and uh, and here we are. And on this episode, what's great is um, I get to talk to my buddy Matt, okay? A little give and take here, though, I'll tell you about. I'll t- let me start out by saying there is some good news, a little bit of good news, and a little bit of bad news, okay? But good news is I chat with Matt. I have a ball. We talk about all sorts of some old movies. I seem to think I know what the hell is, is going to happen, and I turn into a businessman and a, a Nostradamus or, so, uh, or something like that. Anyway, the point is, is that me and Matt, we have a good old time, and that is on the positive side. Boy, let me tell you. Uh, good to see him. It's been a while. He looks great. He's one of the best. You're going to enjoy him. Trust me. And he's got a buttery low voice. He's a baritone. Anyway, um, on the flip, okay, there's some, there's some, some, uh, you know, hey, with every rose has its thorn, okay, but um, Adolfo was not available at the time, so he uh, had, he is, was out, he, you know what he was? He was out on assignment, okay, Adolfo was out on assignment, and his assignment right now is probably being an internet troll with Twitter, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm kind of into it. I want to see how much trouble that guy can get into. So <clears throat> follow his antics because he's a wild man, and he's he's an outlaw is what he is. Adolfo will be back. He will return, and it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, you know why? Because like he lets something go when it comes back to you. Anyway, he was just not available. So that being said... Um, yeah, so we hung out, we talked, and it was great. And we just, you know, we sat around, and we just chewed, chewed the fat, man. So let us, let's get that party started. Let's just let's get into it. Um, Hello, Matt. Hey. How you doing, buddy? I'm fine. How are you? <sighs> Jesus Christ, we're really in the middle of it. I mean, let's face it. You know, we can't get a goddamn drink at a bar. You can't get nope. a goddamn, you know, hot meal uh, at you a spot. You can't say that. No, no, you can't. So... I'm kind of fine with that, though. <laughs> the meal part? I don't really care about it, but uh, it it is a little frustrating know that, knowing that it's like lockdown two. <laughs> yeah, the it sequel. Is. Yeah. Did you see New York is no? I didn't even know they had indoor dining going on, and now they say no indoor dining. It shouldn't be going on in New York, <laughs> it's, it's, dude. New York is already. Yeah. It's actually it's 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 so bad that I think they should have reopened it. Just be like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. If yeah, you're coming, I think so. it's NYC. You come in here. Yeah, this is Escape you, from New York shit. Yeah, this is the you Warriors. better have We're your in the Warriors own, right now. You better have clink, own. clink, clink. That's what I'm saying. Come out and play. Yeah, and my team definitely would not be the Pinstripes. I hate those guys. Sure. But um, if I were to pick, it's the best looking outfit in the with the makeup on. They look scary. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, ba- the baseball yeah, yeah. players. We were talking Ooh, about the movie. shit. Not real oh, life. Dude, speaking of which, I recently was like, oh, I remember because in the, my. When I wasn't gaming, oh god, all yeah. the girls just left. Click, oh click, 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 click. <laughs> They're listening on the phone, by the way. Yeah. That's why I did this. A click. Um, now I'm off the phone. End call. <laughs> oh my god. Um, my messages don't take losers, so sorry, sorry. Um, but yeah, so it's an old uh, dead phone sound. Yeah. Did you pick up on that? Yeah. I did. <laughs> that was your dial tone. Uh huh. Dial tone. That's, That's always the word the I was best. looking for. Yeah. yeah. Old time phone sound. <laughs> uh, no, this is starting off really good. Uh-huh. I really think this is starting off well. Mm-hmm. Um, acknowledge the crowd out there. Or any, Aye. All the ladies that are <laughs> left. Oh, um, but anyway. Yeah. Um, so I go, I go, I'm back into it. I'm fucking there. Blah, 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 blah. Smacking on the X's and the Y's sure, or whatever it is. Sure. And um, I remembered when a game came out and I didn't get it. And it was the Warriors for ps2 or some shit right or ps3 maybe. and it's about so, the movie it's a direct 
it's a movie that's adapted into a video game. Oh my god! And that guy is like the warrior guy. He's in. He's it. in it. All the guys are in it, and you play like the guy that's the lead, the like handsome blonde guy who's like the fucking. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? He's is a, he's great. I think he died or something. He gone? That, I think he might be gone. He gone. <laughs> I got a confession to make. Shoot. <laughs> I've never fully seen The Warriors. <sighs> and I just referenced it like, hey, let's talk about it. No, it's okay. It's and really, never... it's a, a movie that is truly, it's won my heart. Yeah. Uh, each time I watch it, it becomes better and better. Rob it's... Hess, um, you know, the guy I went to high school with. Yes, sir. He uh, would reference it and I... I, like, you, I, I, didn't know, I didn't know what I had he was a few talking of those, about. Man. I had a few of those because sometimes I wasn't rich enough to have HBO or something like that. And somebody yeah. would be saying shit and I'd be like, that just happened. Yeah. Well, th- yeah. You know, with this like a stand up different... special or something, I'd be like, dude, I don't know who you're Im- imitating right oh. now. Yeah. There was a while where I didn't see a Chris Rock special and I was really out of touch. I felt really uh, out of touch. Yeah. You ever, um, at the time, you those heard the person so say it? Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah, sorry. So go, good. At the time. So good. <clears throat> yeah. You heard a person say something, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> and then like fucking years later, like, that was from some shit that <laughs> I didn't even know about. I'm doing that with the, uh, the, I can't, this is embarrassing to say, but I didn't watch the American Office. And I just, oh, that's fine. I just recently saw a couple episodes, and it's unbelievably yeah, funny. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, so you're good. like, these guys were really dialed in and they're like moving around like they're dialed in. They're not like walking corpses and stuff. You yes. feel me? Yes. Yes. They're like, everybody seems to be excited to be there. <laughs> That's your takeaway from it? <laughs> For sure, dude. Like the vibe, I think vibe is so important. Oh uh, like, yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Documentary. I will bring that up. I don't yeah. care. But you look at the Beastie Boys documentary and everything that good that came from those guys is all about being vibe. yeah you're right no you're yeah. right i'm i'm uh, that was you're right yeah was i feel like some of our best addictive. fucking work is when we were vibing i, I know <laughs> i think so too <laughs> no um but uh but <clears throat> yeah you're not thinking about it you're just you're just loving what you do and then that's about it i think that's what one of what i was saying and also it just seemed like it seemed playful Yes. Yeah. Which is that's huge. To whoa. Me. Yeah. It looks like just a bed of roses, doesn't it? Oh gosh. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, um, going back to the Warriors, though, it's funny. Oh yeah. Funny to talk about this, but Walter Hill, who is a famous sort of '70s director who made like Grindhouse Pictures and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Uh, this was another one of those kind of like Grindhouse Pictures that had cult status after a while because. It was kind of really well made and like it was and when you do a thing that you you have like gangs and they all have a like a certain look it's universal and it probably was a global phenomenon i mean the it, there's a reason why it stuck around right yeah like, i mean right now you look at it and if, if the person say born i don't know in 1990 blah, yeah sees that they're probably not going to see all of what I saw when I was like 17 watching it as a goofball kind of grindhouse movie. No, and I, I mean, I saw it again. I didn't see the whole thing, but the first time I did see any of it was like, I, I don't know. I was like mid 20s, late 20s. So it's not as if I saw it and thought, oh, this is uh, this is lame. Right. This is not current. This is lame. I saw it and I was like, oh, this was cool at the time. So you, you would hope someone younger like, you know, would see the same thing. I don't know. Can I tell you exactly where I found out about it? Uh, I was a little kid listening to hip hop. Could I guess? And the sample was uh, the very beginning of the movie when he goes, when the guy Cyrus, I think is his name, and he's the leader of all the gangs. Yeah. So there's all these gangs in New York representing all these different boroughs and and, and other areas. And uh, they're all dressed up differently. There's ones that look like straight up Indians and they're called the Warriors. Uh-huh. And I don't know if that's fucked up now or not. Who knows? But like we're in the 70s and everything's cool then. And then there was a baseball team. Uh And I forget what their name was, but they were ill because they look like, what was that movie? Dead Dead Dead, Presidents? Where they wore the white makeup and then they wore the black hoodie. Well, they're like baseball players in pinstripe, New York fucking Yankee pinstripes. Like (laughs) I'm on the fucking subway. (laughs) I'm going to beat you. And everybody had 70s hair. And there was one that just was on roller skates and kicking ass. Point being, um, Look, looking at it now, I think you're going to have a hard time with pacing and things of that nature. Oh, I see. Like I, I watched you. The Good, Bad, and the Ugly yeah. recently, and it was like, damn, this movie yeah. is like chill. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when he picks shit up in that movie, you're like, oh, he's doing something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the shit's crazy, dude. Everybody's yeah. frozen for like three hours before anything moves. And then it's just a bunch of gunshots. Like, it's funny watching that movie now and turning the fucking sound all the way up because you're really into it. Uh-huh. Because it's so low high or whatever. And when the fucking gunfire goes off, dude, it sounds like it's inside the apartment. It sounds gnarly. That's amazing. Yeah, but you are. <clears throat> I do get that feeling with the, with older movies where I'm like, just get on with it. <laughs> Just fucking get do the thing. Get on with it, bruh. But it's also amazing. That's what makes it great watching these. You That's know? so true. Yeah. You really do want to push it forward. And I feel like it's so dangerous. And I understand it that is they're having yeah. so so this brings me to, I guess, something relevant, which is shocking at this point, especially with how high I am. Um, there's this backlash from all these um not fancy pants directors, but like high named or like fancy directors that are all uh, expressing this horrible hatred for HBO Max, right? For, yes, uh, yeah, it's everyone, this. by the way. <clears throat> Not just directors, like everyone hates them right now. So what's up with that? Like, do you feel like there shouldn't be hybrid releasing? I mean, even though we're seeing, we're staring down the barrel of the death of movies. Um, Sorry, everyone. Um, well, are we? That's the question. Are we staring <laughs> I down? I just think it's going to change like everything else does, man. Where yes. I, all we're going to get, we're going to get mainline streaming shit. And I think there's going to be some real highlights in there. And there have already have been for me. I've seen mm-hmm. some like low level Netflix movies that are fucking straight flames. Yeah. Like good ass movies. Yeah. That probably they shot for not very much money and everybody didn't make that much. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. I didn't like, make my crackers. But, <laughs> but they made they some said. fucking art. Congratulations. Yeah. And and even Netflix is like Manx Mank I saw recently, oh, I and it just it looks. It's like every frame is such a juicy little morsel. If you like period stuff, if yeah. you like to see, because basically the race, it's like a, a space race in movie making. I'm sure the, they look at it like a space race because how you can elevate the game of looking like the past mm-hmm. is a real. To me, it's a rad game. Seeing how somebody can interpret the past and make it look like. You're inside of Citizen Kane's butthole. Oh is yeah, so yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, um, and and they make a hell of it. And I love where we're at with tech, where you can have this nice. You can have you can brush out the fine details with a little you know digi bullshit. Yeah, right? I, 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 yeah, I love that. I, you know, I don't to make things look so slick. It's like we don't need to do that. No, like we're over that. Yeah, you know, because it's always gonna look slicker and slicker. So just make it look kind of real or do, whatever. Do, it do is. the bare minimum because <clears throat> yeah. that's why. That's when. That's what I'm saying, dude. When yeah. you see something that isn't even doing the bare minimum, I'm like, oh, how did you? How did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but to get back to your question oh, yeah. about the about the, the the dump with HBO Max, I agree with you. We gotta. <laughs> It sounds so fucking stupid and preachy. <laughs> Guys, this is what we got to do. <laughs> Guys, we got to band We're together. We're going to call that. All of uh, my five subscribers <laughs> have to band together. <laughs> yeah. We got to move, people. Dude, um, imagine that. Just adjust. Yeah. You got to fucking adjust. That's what I'm trying to say. So sorry if if the theaters are going to go, if the movie theaters are going to fucking not make money. Right. I love going to the movie theater. Me too. I miss it. Huge fan. Know? But Just went we, to the drive-in recently. It was a nice experience. Uh, it was a nice experience. But it wasn't. It wasn't like being right. There's something really spectacular about being in a giant, like one of those mega joints with those those sweet uh-huh. stadium seats yeah. that are all cushy patushy for yeah. your tushy, and you put the fu- and you just like yeah. the whole thing. I love that it's a freight train. And like but, personally, I don't do anything, which is I don't look at my phone. I'm just like. I'm watching well, this movie and that's it. Hey, that's at, at, at 20 bucks, brother, I'm putting the phone away for sure. Oh, yeah. At $20. <laughs> um, they were too expensive. I, come on, man. I, I feel like I can voice an opinion <laughs> yeah, there I'm where just, I'm like, I'm goofing. there's some movies where I was like, you owe me about five and change yeah, back yeah, yeah. on that. Yeah, um, yeah. But that's just me. In my opinion, you can yeah. take it where and love it. Comment above. But- <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think I'm going to do the work and put a button there? Yeah, You're crazy. No. no way, dude. Oh, I've got a thing going and that's about as sure, all as I sure. can do. Is, um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, if the internet were the gold mining era, uh-huh. right? Say for 1822. Uh, uh, sure. And uh, where there, I would be one of those old miner dudes. Oh, it's fuck. like, gah, 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 and he, oh. you know what I'm saying? When he was stamping on the, I had the big white beard. Yeah. Because I, I just Jeb. figured out how to upload something. Oh. That's what I feel yeah. right now. Anyway, yeah. uh, going back to that, I think, well, I saw that Denise Villeneuve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Denise Villeneuve. 
Is it? I don't know if that's his name. The, the, the guy, Doom. The, the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy, and, uh, he's one of the most exciting people ever, right? Yeah. This guy's storytelling ability is really, he's kind of flawless right now. Aside from that one Natalie Portman thing where they're like, you know what I mean? How the aliens oh. were like like coffee stains. I wasn't feeling that. Uh, I'm blanking on it. He's it's Sicario. Cool. Fucking right. One of my, I think that might be one of my favorite it's, top one hundo. Yeah, underrated. It's underrated. Underrated. Every viewing is delight. I actually watched the sequel recently. Yeah, what? It's a. Here's the thing. It's still good. It's still good, but it's, it's a little, so uh, so good on its own. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, it's nothing yeah. like what he brought to the yeah, table sonically too. Yes, exactly. And like you feel some of those shots, like you're just like, oh fuck, bro. When they're in Juarez or whatever, and mm-hmm. and the shit's yeah, like, right. oh, wah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I I put the fucking coke down in the little handle there. Yeah, and I was like, okay, you got my attention. So um, no, I think he's great, and I think that prisoners thing didn't he do that as well? I don't. Know. I don't know. I didn't see. I'm not sure. I know he's outspoken. He he yeah. he made a stink about it, and other people have made a stink. Yeah, about it. And like you said, stinks. it's not just directors, but I do feel CAA is, made a big stink. They're like you haven't you didn't tell I mean, our artists. And I mean, them. yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just I listing mean, the people who made stinks. I mean, but hear me out. See, I, I, more like <laughs> see you later. Uh, <laughs> Is that a good that zing? That was awesome, is that a good dude. Zing? Yeah, no, people are going to pick that up and use Comment it for sure. Above. Comment. <laughs> no comment section. <clears throat> um, what I was going to say is this. There was a time where everybody was like, digital. Yeah. And then there was a time before that where yes. people were like, a tape. Don't yes. be ridiculous. Right. So it's Napster. Now, now, now you look like that asshole. That I think a- Napster is the good analogy. Because yeah. people are like... Well, what the fuck? We can't put our music digitally, <laughs> you know. And then like fucking Metallica is like, you asshole. Now I'm the sue only you. now the only argument I can vibe on, and this is this is how I feel about it, and this is one I'll go ahead and I'll sit next to Marty Scorsese and say the same thing he okay. says when he says that you're losing the experience because I do feel like there is yes. a cinematic yes. experience, but I do feel that we can probably take about half of these giant megaplexes. And do something else with them. Yeah, yeah. Because it got to the point where it was like, I think they were way more interested in the soda machine that was in the hallway that dispensed every known syrup, known right. demand yeah. for All $17. Syrups. And then uh-huh. you would be, you'd, I would remember being like stuck for like 80 bucks on a trip to the fucking movies. Oh, and no it's doubt. like, that's easy. So I feel like it was both inflated. And this is just how I'm rapping right now. I could mm-hmm. change my views once a billion's in my bank account. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll change it up. So, but I just know this is the early Drew, dude. Uh, No, (laughs) but uh, this is version 1.0. Yeah, you wait for that 3.0 to come out. Get that disc in the mail, dog. (laughs) But um, no, I think uh, I think to me, it's as much. I think is it. It's it's a business that needs to be downsized just as much as maybe a lot of businesses, even like the retail shits that took to you know that. No disrespect, and I know. Shop local. I, I feel very strongly about small business and, and shopping locally. I, I pay a, a stupid amount of money on coffee. Like, I'm a silly boy on coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Silly boy. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but then, then... Just a silly coffee on boy. another level, there are, I have been to coffee places where I've been like, how the fuck is this place open? Because it's so expensive? Or is good? How is this place open? Like, I've been to coffee places where I'm like, this is literally just a place where people go. It's like a bus station. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I feel like coffee places could do the same level. damn fucking thing that movie theaters can do, which is like cut yourselves in half. Yeah, yeah. Make yeah. the strong survive. Make it. Make you. You give me some golden sunrise coffee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me that shit and give it to me at a reasonable price. Uh huh. Yeah, I think that's the. I think that's the Sorry, lesson. You like, didn't need to see that side of me, Matt. <laughs> I was just wondering, like, is golden sunshine a real coffee? Um, I wasn't sure. I feel like I should have known it. I, no, Dang, Golden Dang, Sunshine Dang. is not a real coffee, and I'm not being as uh, upfront about that as I am because I do like the convenience of all of these things, and once they're kind of not available, it's annoying. But yeah. I just I do feel like it's a little it's antiquated in a lot yeah, of ways. Exactly, and so and That's so a good word for it. And so for me, it's like we we need to adjust and and move forward accordingly. Sad thing is, is that I feel like in the cor- in the sort of corporate sense of it, and this is just how I feel, that in the process of moving forward and adapting, 
so many opportunities are going to get lost in the fray and it's yeah. really just going to be down to a Marvel franchise at the, at, the, uh, at the end of the day. You know it is, man. You know it is. And so so I think it's a, like it's an interesting, but I always think this stuff and the same with the times that we're living in. It's like, you, are you going to look at, it, look at it like a challenge or are you going to look at it like, oh, what are we going to do? Victim style. Yeah, you, you can't. Know? It's like, can. I, I look at AMC and they're just yeah. like, what are we going to, and it's like, yeah. no man, I would do, like what was it Figure recently? it out. You got to fucking figure it That's out. That's what I'm saying. So what was the corporation recently that got rid of like almost their whole shit? There was a, One of the theaters, theater companies? No, there was another, I'm saying a corporation that just had oh. a bunch of like, they just cut staff like oh, crazy. I'm not sure. But they're doing they're they're making adjustments accordingly. I don't know if that's I, I'm not a businessman. Obviously, I'm you know either. this about me. So we're not yeah. going to get into the business wise and what first. But mm -hmm. I will say that um, uh, it seems just a little. You know, you used to. All right, I'll do the old man shit real quick. Fuck but it. there used to be something to the one cinema dome in town or whatever. I remember yes. in Boston there was a a very clear winner. Yeah. Now it's all a mess. Well, you would also there would also be like one movie, yeah. Where and that could be exciting because it's like I mean I I do feel like the anticipation of something like that and then going and I remember when it was five bucks, yeah. Um, even to go to the cinema like the whole like the new shit or whatever, which is not new anymore. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the the, the it got out of hand, man. I think it got out of hand. Yeah. You know where it got out of hand? Where I could order an egg roll and press a yeah, button on a chair? Funny. It's ridic Shame on, ridiculous. Shame on you. Yeah. I, I feel like that was in a book that was in like a David Sedaris book way back when, before it happened. And then it's like, this shit is happening. Oh, so he had a premonition about so, this I, shit. I, I believe I, it. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Because it, <clears throat> it feels like we're entering a sort of new era in humanity where... Like we're not the emphasis isn't on certain things anymore. It's on totally uh, like another thing. So and mm -hmm. and much in the way that I think people, like we've just adapted to cable being destroyed. We just right. got off the heels of that, and you want us to get into all sorts of other shit. Like for instance, the other day there was an old seventies movie I wanted to watch. Um, fuck, I can't remember the name of it. But um, I felt oh, it's the Paper Tiger or something like that. This John Ooh. or um, it's um, it's a good Tony Curtis. Song. What was it? no not Tony. Jack Lemon. Okay. And it was a 70s Jack Lemon, and it looks right on the money for old Drew Brooks. <laughs> and so I just was like, sweet. And it was like. Right, bowling ball right up your alley. Oh, dude, down the center, uh, right where that fucking triangle points. Yeah, I miss bowling. But uh, but it was also a I dirty sport. I get my fucking remember? fingers into a ball. Do you remember? And not knowing how greasy it was going to be. I no idea. That shit's done, B. Yeah. So your feet and other shoes too. But I, I, I really wanted to watch this Paper Tiger movie, and uh, it. This is my. This is me complaining about tech. Ready? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it goes. You can watch it right now. You can watch this bitch right, right. fucking yeah, yeah. now. Press this button. Here you go. I press the button, and it's like log in to CBS is all access. Some bullshit uh -huh. that I've already. Mm. I already have so many apps on this bullshit yes, that it I'm takes. With you. you know where it's clugging forward because it's like you have too many of them shits on here. Uh -huh. So you we're like it's like I feel like my whatever this streamer dude is is like has got a sack of shit and he's just carrying it down the street. God damn! I got it. the goddamn wrestling channel he's on like, there. Yeah. <laughs> I got another one. Shit. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. Here, here, here. Can I make mm. a quick turn? Hit me. That you made me think of this. Yeah. Um, that I think you'll appreciate. Oh, man, I know it already. Okay. Because of all this, this access that we have to everything in the world and media. We were just blah, talking blah, about blah, that blah. with the music. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, okay, so here's the music pivot. Excuse me. Um, I miss... A scene happening. Oh, remember that? <laughs> no. I know. It's gone, baby. It's gone. Your, your, your whole, like, it was born in the dirty, scummy sidewalks of London. Exactly. Exactly. That shit's way gone. Bro. I know. It, I feel like it was gone when we were kids. It was gone, but there was, I, I feel like, nah, nah, there was some stuff still going on with, like, <laughs> Fucking dirty South. Oh yeah, and rap scenes were bubbling. Yeah, yeah, rap scenes were the bubbling. Grunge in the nineties, you know. True, and then there was like that sort of new rock that came in the two thousand, which was cool. Like with all those little little Tweety bands that came out all at once, right? Uh, yeah, that I'm, shit was fun. Yeah, there was like a New York yeah. scene. I read that book, Meet Me in the Bathroom, it's about like cool. the Strokes, the Walkman. There you go. That's the scene yeah. I'm talking about. I yeah. thought that was a real cool 
Well, even I was like, oh, I know what you're doing. And it's yeah, a nice yeah. two-step, but it's they banged it out so long. Exactly. I got to love them exactly. for it. Shout out. So yeah. the the thing I was going to with that... Oh, sorry. No, that's you, it. Oh, I'm okay. But the thing I miss, I think, about it is the... There used to be... I like things that have a little bit of a, a rollout. I, I remember the days where you'd hear... You'd anticipate something coming out. And then it would have this oh, experience like this. of rolling out with yeah. this, like they'd have music videos to match right. it. And then the artwork on the You're cover. Like, Holy shit, that's the album cover? Oh, and the album cover probably took six months and they probably went through three revisions. Yeah, and it was yeah, probably yeah. some fancy schmancy New York guy mm. who was like, well, and he'd push up his weird round glasses and be like, I've got 17 other ideas. And they all involve <laughs> plastics. Yeah. yeah. And, and I just miss. I miss how much the labor intensity uh, intensity of making an album and selling that album as a piece of whatever it is. I didn't uh, really care about formats. I was just talking about formats with a buddy, how I had like all these weird formats and it's like, yeah, I liked them all. I just, I liked, I didn't realize at the time and now I realize it was about the presentation as much as it was about the music. It was the presentation of it. Right. Now I feel like it's just, it, 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 it's a race that I don't think anybody can win. It's so, it's moving at a, such a fucking alarming rate, and this may be just my Meaning age what, showing. What, what's what's the race? The output, the output, oh, the output is yeah. just miraculous. Yeah. At least it seems that way. I yeah. don't know if it's actually that true, but like every time there's a, I just experienced this with an album where I was listening to them and I was like, that's a far out album. That's a cool album, man. And I went back and they added another. It, it, like bonus tracks on uh, it. and I'm like now there's 38 tracks on this uh, shit I don't like that And I, this I, is it's old like, man talk too but I don't like that you know what I'm saying I, I do I'll, know what you're saying I, I think it was classy you know what's classy bro it's to I just, love class I love class cut the fat cut the fat wear a <laughs> fucking top hat dress yourself nice <laughs> Put a jacket on. Top That's button, another thing button. I need to talk to you about. Yeah, I know. I'm like, wait, oh shit. Yeah, look at my <laughs> shit. Do it my way. There's that, a little bit of that. But also, like, I remember not only you were talking about scenes, right? Yeah. Which was such an interesting uh, thing that you could have this thing uh, that no one knew about. And you could walk into and be like, whoa. Yeah. Like, even like, and there was only like one guy smoking a cool clove in the back that was working for Rolling Stone or something like that. Right. right and he right. would be the only one tapped in, you know? Yeah. But like, those do those days are fucking gone. They're gone. No, I know. I just, and, uh, and I just watching, like that idea that there's something out there that you don't know about that's going on and then you could find it and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? I mean, there still is, I guess, to an extent. Like, I don't know every don't you type feel of like music, but yeah. In my opinion, I feel like I traded in the, my love for record stores like Tower Records and stuff like that. I traded in my love for them mm -hmm. for the ability to have everything all the time. It's almost like a deal Fair with trade. the devil. Yeah. <laughs> because Fair you trade. know there's no way the artist wins. In that yeah, scenario. That, I know. There's that, no that's way, a, that's and that's like a separate story, and that sucks. But. It's 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 a subcategory of what right. we're talking about, but it it's is. like it really isn't the way. It, yeah, we I haven't know. figured it out, and yeah, yeah. as much as I'd like to think we have, at least my talking to small artists, they're suffering. Yeah, and like I feel like Even it's the same big with big artists, man. Really, like. There's a band I don't want to name like, them. Sia, I took her shit, dude. No, she but... asked me to borrow fifty bucks. I said no, Sia. <laughs> Sorry. There's a band I don't, I don't want to name. I'm doing one. bits over here. Man. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I should be. I I'm should just kidding. Let's kidding. go to the sea up it. <laughs> um, that like they play at the Wilter and they like sold it out and they're still like fucking. They were they're struggling. And that's where I feel like if you're taking that deep dive into artistry, I am. I I've always said this about musicians. I am. I I applaud you. Yeah. For doing the job that you're doing, especially when you're not getting any ho hum profits and you're not like dropping like having rollouts like people do where they're like collabing with dunks oh, yeah. and shit it's yeah, like yeah. what that i i saw coming though the whole idea of like but it's so sad because in a way it's like it's kind of like you you remember other eras when they were like oh this is like selling out this is like disco yeah and you're like is that really happening because i do feel like within a lot of the music culture it's you don't really have an option not to 
There is you need that heat exactly. And you need that movement, mm. and and that's the only way people are going to listen to your shit now. Is that yeah. if you have like a cool fucking long sleeve T shirt that has yeah. words all over the. I fucking mean, I, arms. I brought up the Walkman from that book, mm-hmm. and um, that that's a band I really like, and I remember they're cool. I remember hearing their song on a car commercial, and I was like, ah, fuck yeah, but. Who Bucket. cares? I mean, that's what you got to do. Well, then that brings us into Bob Dylan territory where, you know, Bob Dylan goes, I'm not sure what Bob Dylan goes. I'm just making my own version of, because we'll, I think, we'll I love Bob out. Dylan. <laughs> we'll figure it <laughs> we'll out. We'll get to the bottom of it. Yeah. But I'm thinking to myself, you know, because he made a splash recently, right? He sold all this shit for like 300 million. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's like a load of shit. That's a, like a lot of shit. That's a, like a big sh- amount that's of shit. That's a lot of shit. And that guy who was carrying it in your apps, uh-huh. it's no, he it, can't. It, it's a drop and it would fall fucking, out the yeah, back yeah. of it. It'd be all wet, uh-huh. be all wet, and like look like cabbage. So <laughs> a lot of fiber in that, like <laughs> a lot of cabbage. But yeah, no, I think I think what he's thinking is the future is going to be next to impossible to track this shit, and that the only money it seems that these cats are making now is like with advertising and stuff like that. I mean, dude, when I heard, um, I think it was the Led Zeppelin song. That's when I knew. Like I heard all these like like indie punk bands, and I I heard ads with like the Descendants and weird oh, right, shit. Right, right. You know, like it wasn't surprising to hear right. some fucking Dinosaur Junior shit or something like that. But like uh, hearing a Led Zeppelin banger. Yeah, what was that? In a commercial it was like recently? a fucking yeah. Cadillac or some shit, yeah, and yeah. it was like ah, yeah, that remember? was. And then uh, Thor, yeah. right? Right after oh. that. Thor got a hand, his hands on it. That was it. awesome, by the way. I thought it was, that was killer. Cool. Use Shout that out song. to that movie. Yeah. That movie rocked. Shout out to Taika Waititi. Yeah, dude, that Guy movie rules. rocked the house. Yeah. Like I had such a ball. It actually is making me emotional about theaters, though, because I really yeah. think that's the only thing that's a bummer. Yeah. But like I said, I think what you, I think touching on what what you said about music, it's like I don't know, man. It sounds like that's what's going to happen to streaming wise, where you're going to get. The access to so much more, mm-hmm. but the cost of that is that oh yeah is the theater experience will crumble and uh, no doubt in my mind. And as far as like artists suffering, musicians suffering because of it, because we're this world is going to turn into a crypto bank, right? Yeah, no, without obviously. a question. Yeah, everybody's yeah. just going to lead their money in the street to burn, and we're going to all believe in uh, believe in one of them. It's going to be like oh, uh, it turns out it wasn't Bitcoin; it was no, it's Zipcoin. Ethereum. That's another <laughs> yeah. thing. Uh, it's the only other one I know. <laughs> I just made one up because yeah. I don't know shit yeah, about the yeah. market. But I'm like, as soon as that happens, when everybody's just like, we all just agreed to just use Venmo now. <laughs> yeah. And the world agrees, right? That's going to happen sooner or later. Mm-hmm. And then, and I'm not crazy. You don't have but, to say that. You don't have, you don't have to say that. Disclaimer. I do. Um, but what I will say is once that happens, once we've all, got, once we've all gone to crypto... <laughs> All the fun things that we used to do, like mm-hmm. remember the rapper doing the phone with the bunch of money. Yes, you do the phone thing. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. a bunch of money. That's gonna be gone right out the gate. Oh, right. The, the strip clubs. What oh, are you gonna do in a strip yes. club? You're not gonna. Strip clubs are probably gonna go the way of the theater system as well. What do you They're think going about the, the way future? of the dodo? They're gonna be extinct. This. How do you feel about that? Actually, in all sincerity, Matt, like, do in you feel like sincerity. we we are looking at the end of the, the strip club? And follow up question. Yeah, should it be the end? We're, we're, it's the end. It should be the end. It's the end. It, but it was already like going in a time machine, didn't it? Feel like going oh, in a yeah, time I machine. Yeah, I hated it. A gross, I hated gross, it. gross, greasy time machine. And I'm not machine. just trying to be like, oh, I'm cool. I didn't like strip clubs. I'm, I'm gonna cool be honest. I didn't hate it that much. <laughs> no, I just, I, I, yeah, it was stinky and sorry and kind of gross. I, I just didn't. I didn't like it personally, but uh, I wish I did because now it's gone. Well, but what's taking its place is like a webcam thing, and like it's kind of it's all similar. Oh, like right. anyone there, anyone could do this webcam. Act like I just found out for the first time. <laughs> oh, you don't say! <laughs> what did a webcam? Oh, you kidding? Girl, webcams? Yeah. Who's doing this? No way! Are you yeah. kidding me? Subscriber number? Yeah. I'm like Ninja Brooks Fave Eight One Seven. Just hitting that like button. <laughs> so. I, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, we're going to have, I think we're living in like weirdly, uh, uh, we're, we're shifting so many, uh, as, uh, we're shifting so many things out and bringing so many new things yeah. in because just as much as that's crazy, it's so fun to be like, yeah, I'll Venmo, uh, I'll Venmo you or whatever. <sighs> 
I love so the convenient. express delivery of money. Yeah, and the Venmo in particular eliminates some anxiety for me when the mm-hmm. bill comes, and I'm like, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, and then you fucking just Venmo the person. You know, it's oh, like, no, yeah. I got it, no, I got it, no, I got it, and I'm like, well, I'll Venmo you then, and then you it do. Stopped a, it stopped, it really saved the day for all the fucking lowlifes, because you can't really fake a Venmoing. Like you, you, oh, I could always, you could always dodge it. That's somebody. very funny. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I can't. You can't yeah. see if because if you leave and you're like, yeah, I'll Venmo you, and, and you it's don't. like I'll just text you and be like, yeah, it's I sent you the request. It's, exactly. It squares it up. That's a good call. And Here, here's a negative on. on oh, the, tell on me Venmo. a neg. Neg me out. I uh, I used to do um, improv comedy. That's the negative. No, the yeah. negative. Is, I'll, I'll relate like, it. I'll relate it. Uh, thumbs down. <laughs> I'll relate. But I was on like this. I was on this team of improv comedians. Oh lord! <laughs> and we were all new <laughs> with, with each other because we got put together. And I was like, we were out at a bar. I was like, hey, I'm like, you need anything, Michelle? And um, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll get you something. And sure. Then, not hitting on her or anything. We're just new. No, no then, I know where this is and going. Then, like, I think. she's like, oh, I'll vent my you. I'm like. I'm just getting. We can just get each other drinks. Right. That's not crazy. I think it just it feel, might be felt the cold. New shit, yeah, though. it is. You're right. I mean, it, it, is. it, it because it, it is. feels like all those things feel like when you say them and they look at you like, mm-hmm. and you're yeah. like, oh, that's wrong. It's just yeah, not a yeah, thing. Yeah. Anymore. Um, it's also old like man Noonan talking. I think one of the things I've I've lost but but found is. Love how much time I would spend out at restaurants and bars and shit. Oh, it was yeah. ridiculous. It's bad. It was bad news for me. So I think, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's some positive in the negative, guys. I like to take this time to just like <laughs> reevaluate what I was doing. And then it's like, did you get a hobby? We all got, I got a hobby. Uh, I got like 80 hobbies and then I lost them all. And then yeah, this happened. That's what, that's what happened. This is what happened. This is the, this I is love a, this. This is a Beautiful. negative effect of, no, the, it's not. This is of, the, of the times that we're living. I've biked so much. Bicycle. Okay, so bicycling. I'm a bicycling man. Did you bike here? No, I thought about it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, you uh, thought about it because yeah. it's a bit of a fucking. It's it's a it's a it's not even a deep cut. It's only like two miles. Yeah, it's good, good call. It's two miles. Yeah, it's not a deep cut. I go, I have, have some advice for you later, please. Because I used to bike it before my bike got stolen. Ah, see a theme here? Do you see a theme? I hope you do. I hope you stay tuned. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, no, I just uh, I love I love biking. Honestly, mm. I like biking. I like um, I like the fact that when you bike, here's okay. There's two guys in particular in my neighborhood that I have to shout out. One of them, and I love him to death, has a really powerful speaker that he has bungee corded to oh. the middle of his bike frame no hold on yeah oh piece de resistance yeah so this cat but he's got quality taste in music and he knows Perfect. how to flex on like moving and grooving you know what i'm saying he ain't at 12 o'clock boys that's a reference oh. to like those the guys that oh, okay you know those guys yeah I'm not that cool. it's not 12 o'clock boys style okay but it has its own flavor to it and when you can ride around i remember in the city there would be a lot of local cats on bikes, a lot. Yeah. And they and you know how you could have your own individual style. Yeah. Even just how you flex your whole bike situation. Yeah, it's of not course. just it's not just having a bike with a basket on it. Right. It's like how you ride that shit. Yes. So that being said, I really adore this man for his musical taste mm. and then how it affects him on his bike to what how it dictates his style. That being said, there is another oh, gentleman in my area that is really a get me dumb type of guy. He really he's he looks like he just robbed a bank. He's always lightning fast. Almost looks at you like, "Why were you in the way?" And then, on the bike he's doing this? Yeah. Oh, fuck that guy. Yeah, he's not such a cool dude. No. I don't know. I got a lot of issues with bicyclists to be honest with you because okay. I do feel like just like anything else people can like Do you know oh. Get like a cult, and they're too good for you. And yeah, the f- fluorescent uh, guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's. We can do this, and I will shit talk because you know what? Fuck everyone. <laughs> but <laughs> so much venom in that. 
I just saw all your teeth. You're I like, had to fuck everyone. To... <laughs> I just chew on the mic and leave <laughs> fucking half of it left. Leave now. Yeah, I'll do the rest with like a mutt mute. <laughs> So I watched that drummer movie where he, lo- he loses his. Oh, fucking- I don't want to watch it because uh, I'm scared. <sighs> Dude, because I used to. Do, it's do you know I have a little bit of this? I know Did you, you know I'm a tap tap tap. You flattened up the skins kind of nice back <laughs> yeah. in the day, huh? So that kind of makes me nervous. Anyway, do you remember that movie um, that was like the Warriors? The guy I fucking who- love the Warriors. No, it was the the lightning and the bell, or the the the, the bell and the butterfly and the. The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, I think it was called. No, I don't know like this. That. It was a Julian Schnabel. Julian Schnabel. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a Doppler effect. <laughs> Julian Schnabel. Schnabel. Um, wow. he, directed, um, he directed this movie, and it was about a cat who loses his ability to like move his body and shit. Right? Okay. So it's all dictated through, I think, his, I'm doing a bad job of synopsis. Hey, whatever. It's but it's dictated with his like blinks in his eyes and shit. It's oh, okay. heartbreaking, right? Oh, boy. And this has some of... I have to say it's just well done. Good for the kids or whoever put that shit together. But um, good for the kids. Good for the kids. What is it called? <laughs> Fucking sound of metal. Oh, yeah, and yeah, uh, it was a, a lovely watch. And and um, he's got some spunk in him. He's, he's good, man. He's good. He's and he's uh, good. and uh, the it, it really, uh, I think, gets at the heartbreak that's in a very specific style of insecurity, oh. which is. To play like nothing's happening when something terrible is happening. I know that that's that right there, dude. That's bit is such a fucking nugget, right? The guy oh. that's like, it's the sentence he knows is there in front of him, but he doesn't want to hear somebody read it out loud. Oh god, yeah. that hurts. That and hurts. the discomfort of of not accepting that. Yeah, and then the horrible reality sets in. Oh, it's boy. just a lot, man. Anyway, yeah. if you've see, seen it or know what I'm talking about, it's pretty devastating. But a drummer loses his hearing. And, Fuck. But oh, yeah. it's worth. I'm telling you, man. I'm in this for the fucking ha ha's and the tears, brother. So if this, you want to get it on marble, we're spinning on. That's your goddamn right. <laughs> this beautiful <laughs> son of a bitch whirling well, around very slowly. <laughs> well, here's a, here's a, here's something that you remind me of something. This is. This is not a haha. This is not a tear. But I okay. feel like you'll appreciate this story. Hit me. When you said about the guy with a speaker on his bike. Mm-hmm. So I grew up in the suburbs, basically of New York. Awesome. And uh, had one. My one buddy was good at hoops. Okay. Okay. And why are you? My, first of all, oh, you're, you're minding a mo- you're miming a bike. But I know. Yet you're saying he's good at hoops, which is bizarre. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> He really is a good bicyclist. Man, he could just fucking bike. This guy really knew <clears throat> yeah. how to cook. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. feel you. Go ahead. I mean, he could just really <laughs> paint. We could do um, so Which is close. Many. That's close to painting. That um, is close to painting. Um, so he, he got on this team, and then they played at the Rucker. You know the Rucker Park? You ever hear of this? I've heard Legendary, of it. Legendary. I've like, heard of it. Yeah. yeah. It's where the ballers ball it's and the where players the ballers play. Ball. Exactly. Yeah. That's what the, there's a sign outside. And There's every, a black. And you, yeah, you, you touch it as you go in. Um, <laughs> you get slapped by Alan Everson before you leave. <laughs> it's a real treat. Go ahead. <laughs> so he played at the Rucker, and then he came, he came back, and he's like, it was fucking awesome. He goes, wow. there was a dude. This was the first thing he said, basically. He's like, there was a dude pushing a shopping cart. And it had a big speaker on it and huge bass, and it was the greatest thing. That was the first story he told him. Like, did you do? How'd you do? Did you do well? He's like, yeah. listen to this shit. Yeah, he's like, I'll get into that. Yeah. I was, yeah. and white man can jam. <laughs> right. Um, he's like, oh, no. yeah, full ride to UNC, but yeah. listen, <laughs> listen to the speaker to this boys. Shit. Yeah. Oh man, I, 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 speaker boys. That reminds me of uh, a friend and I. Uh, a trio actually oh. two friends and i oh were eating God. out of uh the backs of our cars because you can't obviously you can't eat in certain dining establishments now. okay so we we're eating out of oh, our trunks is current. i love it yeah and we had uh somebody interrupt us who was um colorful okay. let's just say that uh, I remember the outfit was so miraculous that all the pieces put together, you were like, it takes somebody very, very special to put that Just whole business shit together. Off. And so after asking us for a couple of bucks, and then one of my friends uh, at the time was like, nah, we ain't, we ain't, no. And I remember just being like, uh, you know, being like softening the blow or whatever uh-huh. of this experience. No, no. Because they really were engaging and funny, like really funny. Yeah. And then... Um, 
as uh, they're leaving, uh, uh, they turn around and they go, well, I'm just going to call y'all the pop the trunk boys. <laughs> and I just remember being like, oh, I love you. And I immediately, I grabbed the cash that I had oh, on me. I was just like, that's worth it. all of yeah. my money. I'm just going to uh, call you Pop the Trunk Boys. Pop the Trunk Boys should that's, be a name of something that you're involved in. It something. made that day, like, it, it's funny moments like that for me make a day last for me, as opposed uh, to just being that day where we got that shitty takeout that yeah. was like cold and ate it out of the back of our cars. Someone calling you something yeah. out of nowhere and just deciding to do it it's I'm amazing gonna, nobody asked about it nobody asked nothing and she was i think i'm gonna he or she so, yeah uh they, was that they, i don't know wasn't there well i've got trouble already let's go you. forward i don't know but i just know that the power and do you ever hear something and when when it gets delivered perfectly it's like no it's like that's better than any performance i've yeah. seen so far yeah today. yeah and it really, it was like so near and dear. Like, I think she just, they just wanted to put a perfect button on that scene. Oh, that's beautiful. That's it was, artistry. It was flawless <laughs> it's comedian. execution personified. And I, oh. that's why I had to bring that up because I was like, I love it. Pop the trunk boys. Pop She's, the trunk boys. He said, she, <laughs> they said, I don't know. But, um, we were in. Uh, oh, yeah. I took my little brother to a Knicks game for his birthday, and he's, you awesome dude. Dude, I know it was. It was at the time their worst. It became their worst loss in Madison Square Garden history. We saw that. That actually just sounds like a Knicks game. Oh! <laughs> Shout out to whoever. walked into that one. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. playing tonight. <laughs> uh, um, and he's ten years younger than me, mm. so he was a little kid. At the time, I think I was 20, he was 10, whatever. And we're just like, that's a big difference. We're kind of like fooling around, fighting on the subway. I'm just, and he, he hits me so that my watch pops off. And this dude just goes, Oh, <laughs> shorty's quick with the hands. And it was like, my brother still talks about it. It was the greatest. He doesn't remember one bounce of the basket, one, <laughs> one bounce of the basketball, <laughs> but he remembers that, of course. That's the thing is, there's somehow some, someone's just side comment some peanut oh, gallery God, side comment that's, great. that's some of the, what i miss about just being in public yes because uh nowadays everybody looks like they're going to the place you're going to and they're angry you showed up too yeah i feel like we're gonna get a coffee now everybody's like oh you too yeah okay well yeah six feet then <laughs> and you're just like, too quick <laughs> yeah i know i know Anyways, uh, enough complaining. I love uh, the world, and yeah. I love the world's inhabitants. Oh, gosh. We're talking people. We're talking... Yeah, I'm talking to the guy. I'm talking to this speakerphone in public guy. A shout out to that guy. <laughs> You're awesome. Um, but um, no, so yeah, th it does blow my mind that something, some random ass comment that someone can make, I felt like that was the magic of being in a shithole dive bar. Yeah, that's the magic that was of the definitely dive part of it. Because yeah. I, you could secret, you walk in there. Here's the thing: I didn't realize. Oh, I had a, yeah, I've yeah. got one. Just came to my mind, man. You hit me with it, man. Uh, you you rustic in. Oh, cool. oh, shout out to an LA, historic LA landmark. I sit down. That feels like uh, it's in a sewage. It's some. There's a sewage. Problem. Yeah, like COVID could have started. But there. I love that place. Yeah. And shout out to you, rustic. Anyway, yeah, uh, could have could have been fucking patient I could zero could be in the wings. Just with a <laughs> yeah. extra crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like fucking Gollum. Yeah. I think mean, Gollum could have walked in there. Yeah. Uh, I sit down and I go, um, hey, is anyone sitting here? <laughs> no, I go, is anyone sitting here? Because I was by myself. Okay. I, was, I think I was actually meeting my buddy. And um, this dude goes, he just turns to me and he goes, no, he doesn't. He's not looking at me. He goes, I don't know what you're talking about and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I'm like, Ah, uh, sorry. I just said, "Is is anyone sitting here?" And he's like, "I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't give a fuck." And I just like look at his buddy, yeah, to see if like, is this a fucking, fucking bit? joke? Is yeah, this a it's joke? A, act? Yeah, yeah. And his buddy's just just looks back at me like like kind of like this, and I was like, "Oh, this is not." Wow. And when uh, was this, by the way? This was I don't know, maybe in February. Maybe, oh. Nah, 
No, yeah. maybe that. Maybe. I was just licking fucking bar stools in February. <laughs> I had no fucking cares in the world. Uh, I know. I miss that. I miss that guy saying that to me. And then I tried to like clarify it again. And then, and then um, he he followed up with something like. Listen, I just don't want to fucking talk. Oh, that's what he did. He follows oh. up. He's like, I don't want to be fucking talked to. Is there anything wrong with that? And then I saw saucers eyes. No, all, dude. All you're, you're people. No, dude. Yeah. And I made the correct move. Like in my younger days, I might have been like, of course, whatever. But I was too. like, this is a bad idea. I'm walking out yep. of this. Whenever you catch something that's like, oh, he's zeroing in on some kind of solar power, fucking crazy. Yeah, but I'm it was out. darkness power. Yeah, darkness yeah, power. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Dude, you remind me of. Uh, there, there was a guy I used to love going to this little uh, spot. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna say what it is. Okay, because it's gone, and so it Keep upsets going. me that even when it wasn't, even recently before it was gone, it turned into something else. If that makes oh, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can't even really bring it up without shit all yeah, over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But there was a guy that used to come in there, bro. And this guy, this fucking guy, he had that alligator look to him, where you don't know if he was 14 or 400. You know what I'm saying? He just looked. <laughs> He already looked like when he like was birthed that he yeah. came out looking like Ray Liotta. Yes, I do you gotcha. see what I'm saying? Yeah. He just had a hardened look. Yeah, like he had a like like his skin was hard. He never drank a glass of water. In his, yeah, his no, whole life. He, yeah, he just had this like it was like born with a scowl kind mm-hmm. of thing. And he would come in there, and he was a super Fucking big dusty. sports fan, right? Okay, I and so I'd just be honking tough. on these old brewskis. Yeah. Mine and my own two skis, and the old boy would come over, and he'd always fire up some bullshit with me, right? Uh, but I could tell, and this is what became so fun about it, and this is why I think I miss all of these little, they're like, extra, not extras, but like they're like bit players in your life, where you're yes. like, I can have as much of you or as little of you uh, as I want, and it's so magical. I can love it. I love that. That's gone. Yeah. So, um. I could always oh. knew when he was losing because he was a gambling, he was a yep. fanatic gambler. Right, right. And you could tell, because he would fucking show the anger of like, do you remember seeing like uh, A Boy's Life with Robert De Niro? <laughs> yes, Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, he lays a beating on Leo, right? Okay. He catches, he gives his yes. son a beat. Right, right. And, right. It's, and it's De Niro at De Niro's hot, like when he was like, I'm fucking yeah. this guy. Right. And uh, he gives Leo a beat in his life. And I feel like that anger, this dude would show at a bar, at a dive uh-huh. bar while watching a Kings uh-huh. game because he was a Kings fucking psychopath. Yeah, those Everything, people, they're psychos. Black and silver. I don't know if they are. I don't Just know. Kidding. But shout out to that guy because he would, he would be, he. I would show up and he would pretend like we were the best buds. Oh, he really? He just saw me like, oh, fucking dude. Oh, he would do this, right? Oh, great. But I would know. I'd be like, oh, someone's winning or something. Like that. I'd look up at a score oh, and I would see, like, I'd be like, oh, shit, that's, the stars that's are in trouble. That's real, like, addict behavior, and, too. Yeah, and I would, he would set me up I've with an there. old fucking popper. He would always fire up. Hey, man, that was on me, brother. Ah! <laughs> and yeah, no, this is real. And then, and then I would be there too long. I would stay too fucking long for my own good. And just be like cracking off and be like, hey, pop, and not notice that they had taken a turn okay. on the TV and they were losing. And he would just turn right back into that. And I felt like I was like, I hope to God this guy doesn't have any kids or nothing. Oh, it sounded boy. like he didn't. I thought you were saying, he's like, this one's on you now. <laughs> I think now I'm, you owe me I'm one. I'm sure it happened. But the, yeah, the kids stuff, that shit makes me, ugh. That, that's when the wheels start turning and I get, I get depressed. I'm like, oh, is this fucking guy every day? Yeah. here betting and he's got kids and I that. always think about that stuff but yeah. I mean it, he was there so fucking much that I, if he had a kid he left it alone yeah, okay um, but he was those I hate to say it but that kind of degenerate that's scattered about uh-huh. in your life makes up for 90% of the entertainment because half of the time in this city I would say I would meet up with you or something like that and I'd be like dude you'll never fucking I was over at fucking Johnny's and this guy threw a grapefruit, and this one guy's. And then and now I feel like everybody's like, "What's up, dude?" Like, yeah. I mean? So, yeah. and I know we're all, but it's just, yeah. I well, not all of us. I mean, right now in Wyoming, they fucking there's a rodeo going down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Actually. No, it's true. It's and oh. it's a rodeo. <laughs> Usually, it's like one person riding the bull. They have like seven people, and they're like face to face. And yeah, one's they don't on give fuck. <laughs> the other dude's shoulders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you can suck his- <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it's wild out there, man. It's crazy out there in, in that farm country mm-hmm. and that crazy real wilderness of America. I went to Wyoming once. Did you? I went to Jackson Hole. 
How was it? The mountain is amazing. Okay, so it is beautiful. Yeah. People this country is so beautiful. People were dicks Why there. were people dicks? Matt? Here's what I figured out. You sweet bastard. Go ahead. It's, it's that they weren't from there. Uh-huh. Moved there for skiing, snowboarding. Uh-huh. And then this place blew up. Then they're like, I'm a local. This is my shit. Oh, man. Yes. And then so when you come in there, they're an asshole to you. I can't stand that. Yeah. You know what? Oh, I'm sure that happens here. It definitely yeah. does. I mean, I just exper- I experienced it inside the the times that we're living in. I don't want to bring it up too much, but I experienced an experience. It, it, well, reassess, reevaluate yourself. Reevaluate. Get a hobby. The thing is, <laughs> so deep. I go. Your voice was so deep with that, like you're selling cigarettes. Hobbies. Get one. <laughs> get one. Yeah. But get a pack of Marlboro Lights before you get a hobby. <laughs> you fucking pieces of shit. Uh, <laughs> no, I went down. I walked to this spot. I, it's open all the time, but yet I walk in and somehow they're just like, no. And I'm looking at it and it's just jamming off. And I was like, oh, just so weirdly crushed by uh, yeah. it because I don't go out anymore. So it was like, uh, did you really just LA line me right now? Like in the, cl- in the And there was a club next door. And I go, just because I'm there, I'm staring at the place. Yeah, yeah. And I go, sir, is there a club, a nightclub? And he's like, private party. And I was like, but you said party, right? <sighs> busted. I don't know. Jake. I, is, are they bu- are they not? No, I busted that he... Yeah, yeah I, I know. Don't. You're being... Yeah. I love that. That's great. The Joe yeah. Joe Jones. What is that? Where is that? It is a bar. <laughs> I love it. It's a uh, bar in Long Beach. Where uh, they... Speaking of which, perfect segue. Okay. Nailed it. If you want to know what professional podcasting 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 is like, you've come to the right fucking place. Comment above. <laughs> You're gonna make so much work for me. <laughs> Dial in this address and send it to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use a gun and shoot you, and then add it. Like, so oh, bad. Oh, I like that. That'd be dope. I mean, all this. Put a basketball on <laughs> I'm not even lefty, by the way. That looked pretty good. It looked, yeah, you had a fluidity <laughs> Thank to you, brother. Yeah, no problem, oh, Gosh, get me but, on the um, court and I'm trouble. <laughs> fuck around. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just remembered um, the Supersonics are no longer a team. No, I remember, yeah. that's sad. Uh, it just brought up this fucking feeling in me that it's like, not only are you not really no, playing by the rules, this bar. Go right back to the bar. You're not really playing by the rules. Right. But now you're going to tell me the now rules. Shithead to me. So now I just do what right. I did with it, which is I internalize it, and then. Oh God. <laughs> and then I no no. That's and then how I, I got take this white out. streak in my beard. <laughs> I just happened. internalize everything, and then fucking one day. Oh <laughs> yeah. It's actually a mic shock. <laughs> ah, sweet. <laughs> nah, it's cool, dude. Hey, thanks, man. It's something feline about you like that. It's you like know, a feline. Someone, someone has said yeah. that. Well, I, when I when I when I grew this out, I've had it several times. This this has been this is it's been like there the whole time. Yeah, but when I grew it out here for the first time, and then someone saw me, they were like, "Whoa!" And someone said the feline comment, and I was walking by because I had to go somewhere. Yeah. And I go, oh yeah, thanks. My dad shocked me when I was a kid, and his fucking face was like. He didn't know what to do, <laughs> which is not true. That didn't happen. Well, I feel like nobody wants, or not. This is maybe not true, but like that we, I do feel like it's kind of hard to fuck with people like that nowadays. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm I don't just know. feeling guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's got to be ninety percent of it. it. Yeah, it it might be hard to fuck with people. I was harder. in a, a yeah. situation recently where I just I literally wanted to say something outrageous because it was just sort of that perfect thing <laughs> and then i was like nah and i think uh, that's just being old now where you're like yeah that could be I ain't or not fucking i think we were talking about this before uh you go the other way and you're old and you don't give a same that's why it's unpredictable that's why it's unpredictable yeah. the same guy that will carefully carefully back in a parking spot at his own home okay. without the cones yeah is the same guy that will literally run over a cone when he drives somewhere. It's like you don't know what you're getting Boy. sometimes. You uh, feel me? Yeah, I do feel you. Like me, it's unpredictable, I'd say. Best. What did I tell you? Did I not tell you he was a fun guy, huh? And that was me and Matt just talking and talking. 
about what I mean at the end of I don't even know. I don't even know. But uh, what I do know is that uh, I need to thank you. Because if you've made it this far, you're a real superstar. Um, and thank you so much for sticking it out and keeping everything alive out there. And uh, take care of yourselves, okay? Because the holiday is, well, it's gone. It's behind us. But the New Year's Eve, it's right ahead of us. And I got to tell you, if you, you know, if you, you got to try to avoid people and see people at the same time. And that, let me tell you something, that's not an easy task. Uh, um, at any rate, thank you very much for joining us. This has been Drew Stories, uh, and I'm Drew Brooks, and uh, I really appreciate you hanging out and being fun with us. Okay. See you again soon.